Hi. Today we are at Jessica's house. Hooray. We are going to do, do I have that book? Do I have Tag. that book? Do I have that book? Does she have this book? <laughs> that book? We'll find out. Yeah, because Christina's going to be looking through my shelves. I am, and I feel like at a, I'm at a real big disadvantage because yeah. we usually film at my house, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't see your shelves, like, rarely anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... <sighs> I'm up for a challenge. Awesome. The original creator of this tag is Keeping Tabs, and we will link that video below. And we were tagged by Megan from Tome Infinity. We will link hers below as well. I'm Jessica. I'm Christina. And you're watching Game, Game of Tomes. Or should I say I? Okay. Do I have a book with deckled edges? Yes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you do, but I have no idea where or what one. Same. Let's hunt. <laughs> do you, are you, you want to look first and then I'll help you if you need it? Yes. Okay. And I feel like I could judge pretty well by the spine if it has deckled edges, which is okay. interesting. That's an unreasonable thing to say. Mm. Mm. You know which one it is? Yeah. I'm looking for it. Okay. I see it. Um, it's on that side. Okay. I shouldn't have looked right at it and said, oh, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> you should have, like, played it low-key with some right. Oh, is it Jane Eyre? Yeah. I feel like... See, I typically feel like classics have more deckled edges mm -hmm. than others. And that's an oldie. So this is her copy of Jane Eyre by yeah. Jane Austen. Uh-huh. No. No? Mm -mm. What? Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. <laughs> That, it sounded weird when I said it. <laughs> yeah. We didn't like this. No, we didn't enjoy it really. No. I like but the first I love half. I love really deckled good. edges. I do too. Yeah. I did like the first half too. Yeah, we thought we were gonna like it and then it turned we into did. something else. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Number two. Do I have a book with three or more people on the cover? Oh, interesting. I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> Look at this one that's sticking out. No. Mm. Close. That is close though. I mean there's a centaur and a human. Oh, well, looky here. Lame. <laughs> Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. <laughs> the same one we used for this at, at my house. house. Yeah. <laughs> there's like, I think we said there's like five. Three plus two, yeah, five. On this. Ooh, I have even more on mine. Oh, look. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa. There wasn't that two. Like, yours is bigger, I think. In yeah. Yours is a thinner copy, which is it is kind of yeah. nice. It's dusty, but I don't understand. My Didn't bookmark we have is this? get my bookmark out of there. <laughs> Cheated on that one. Number three, do you have? Do I have a book based on another fictional story? Yo, I don't know. Mm. Okay, oh. wait. Uprooted isn't that? I think it is based off of. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what it is based on. I think it's supposed to be based off of. What's the one with the spinning? Golden That's thread. the next one. Oh. Is this one supposed to be loosely based off Sleeping Beauty? I feel I like I can look it up, case, but I'm also not sure. Unless you know that you have another, a different one. Uh, yeah, I do. I don't know. Wicked is all I can. Oh, remember. I see. The book I was thinking of. <laughs> is it East of Eden? But is that based on something? The White Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Eh. Cinder. Oh my gosh. Dude. I'm so dumb. It took me forever. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Yeah. Based off Cinderella. Right. Yay. What is wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm hoping I get better as this goes on. Okay. Number four. Do I have a book with a title 10 letters long? Oh, this one's fun. Okay, does this count? Fahrenheit 451. Ooh. Fahrenheit is 10 letters long. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Interesting. And then it's got numbers, <laughs> not letters. Yeah? Yeah. So, hmm. Okay. Eh? Eh? I get you. in the system. <laughs> it's not cheating. It's a loophole. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Should I find a different one? No, I think it works. I mean... Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. 
Good job. Thank you. I don't think that's where that was. That's okay. I put it They're in between. They're not in order. <laughs> <laughs> in between two brand damn brown books. I don't think that's where this went. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. Do I have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? Probably. Do you know if you do? Mm -mm. Okay, are we counting the? I mean, it's the yeah. title. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just going with the first ones that I see. Why do you have so many sunglasses? <laughs> There's like four pairs up here. Uh, the Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. One of the best books of all time. Yes. Yes, it is. Indeed. Yeah. TNT. Good job. Because it's TNT. Dynamite. <laughs> About to explode. Watch me. It's oh, fine. Okay. Do well, I? I don't know the words. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Do this covers your face. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know where to put way. this. I'll just lean this way. Or this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Scoot just over. keep going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Number six. Do I have a mass market paperback book? Yeah. Hands down. Right there. The Wise Man's Fear. Yeah. Boom. I'm going to make, I'm even going to make you get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. Yay! Which I'm going to read that next month. Yeah, inter what? It's a sequel. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm going to read it next month. I knew it was a sequel. Yeah. Which is what I was going to say. It was interesting. <laughs> you haven't read that one yet. No. But look at this chunk. I, I love these mass market paperbacks that uh, are like chunky. I do too. I, I like I like thick books. Yeah, thick. <laughs> you know they say T H I C thick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Me too. It's like a little snack. <laughs> they say that nowadays too, right? Like snack. I don't know. My sister works with some teenagers and. She was telling me about some slang yesterday, and I'm really confused. <laughs> and she also said that this guy texted her the other day and was like, I'm going to be a little a little late. I'm grounded in the bathroom. And Brittany was like, what? And so she asked another guy. He goes, oh, that means he's pooping. She was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me <laughs> whatsoever. I like it. That's funny. That's so weird. Sorry, I'm grounded in the bathroom. I get it. Yeah. Like when you land a plane. <laughs> It's not like pooping. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know. It's weird. I feel not that old until I hear things like that. Mm. But I like snack. That That's one that I like. I'm like, ooh, a little snack. <laughs> I want to do that every time weird. I say it, too. <laughs> I, like snack. I think that makes you older. <laughs> <laughs> that's not cool. I mean, I think you're cool. He looks like a little snake. <laughs> That's what they say. They use it for, like, people that look good. Yeah. Like, sexually yeah. appealing, I guess. But. Yeah. And then they go... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Okay. <laughs> Number seven. Do I have a book written by an author using a pen name? I want to say no, but I actually think you probably do. <laughs> All right, don't tell me. Oh, yes, you do. Fool's Errand by Robin Hobb, which we recently learned is a pen name. <laughs> yes. What the heck? <laughs> That's like the third trilogy. I, yeah, I saw that down there and I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Megan was getting rid of some books and I know, I felt like maybe I would regret not taking it. Well, it, at least it's a first in a trilogy though. Yes. Yeah. Tiny Man. Yeah. Book one. Number eight. Do I have a book with a character's name in the title? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. You did already hold one up, but try and see if you can find another one. You held up two, actually. How sea about Biscuit. Sea Biscuit? <laughs> I've never read it and I've never seen it. Pretty sure this is a horse's name. <laughs> it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have I have seen the movie. I've not read that. Yeah. Was it a good movie? Movie? M movie? I watched it when it came out. I was like in seventh grade or something. Oh, okay. So I, I like, don't even know what it's about. It's I know there's like a horse. Yeah. Okay. Sea biscuit. That was easy. Oh, you have like Anne of Green Gables and stuff too, though. <laughs> I do. Oh, you held up Cinder and Jane Eyre. Oh, that's right. 
by Jane Austen. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it, and I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> Almost. So even I was like, yeah, yeah. Almost convinced there for a second. Number nine. Do I have a book with two maps in it? Oh, yeah. For sure. So, uh... <laughs> Number nine. Number nine. Oh my gosh, how do you read this map? Oh, it's hard to read, yeah. Oh, man. I have the same copy, too. A Storm of Swords by George Martin. Because we all know all these have maps in yeah. So. Mm hmm Yeah. And this one got more than one. And it's mass market paperback, and it's like, look at that. Look at that map. <laughs> it's so small. Let me look. This is better than, uh... Um, Cornfield. Cornfield. <laughs> I think that's what it said. This is better than my Lord of the Rings maps. Those are worse. Oh, really? And some of it is wrong. Yeah, that says Cornfield. Okay, let me see. Or no, is it diamond shaped or circle shaped? I can't tell. <laughs> it's so small. It looks like a, it a diamond like shape, which is a castle. A castle called Cornfield? What? Alright, Martin, you running out of ideas. <laughs> you know what I mean there. It listened. That's Number nice. 10. Do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Well, I just held up Game of Thrones, so there goes that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's heavy. <laughs> the Walking Dead. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. That's Compendium 3. Yeah, because the first one was on the very bottom. I'm not. Yeah, it's all good. That's so nice. Yeah. Listen to it. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's heavy. It really is. Yeah. I say this is like five pounds. Yeah. Do you think that so? was an agreeing face? Okay. I thought it was like shocked, like, wow, you don't know weight. And I was like, I know I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> yeah. No, definitely five pounds. Yeah, it is a chunker. Mm. Mm. I can work out with these. I did work out with five pounds yesterday, so yeah. We did some arm stuff. It was really difficult. There you go. That might be more than five pounds. I kind of want to go weigh it. <laughs> can we go weigh it? Okay. All right, we're going to go weigh it. <laughs> Verdict is in. It is 4.8 pounds. <laughs> Good job. Uh, yeah, I'm actually surprised I was that close because yeah. I legit don't know weights. You got 15 pounds of books in those three books right there. Wow. Basically. Number 11. Do I have a book written by someone who is originally famous for something else? Celebrity, athlete, politician, TV personality, da da da. Yes. Hands down, yes. I am Malala. Yeah, who fought the Taliban to get women's rights for education. Yeah, she's awesome. So, boom. Number 12. <laughs> do you have a book with a clock on the cover? I know you do because you own the same one that we use for mine. Yeah. But I'm going to try and look for a different one. Okay. I like how I'll just stand here and how I can judge by the spines alone. <laughs> Good guess. Yeah. I think there is in another version. Ooh. What? Ooh. What? Oh, what? Another good guess. Oh, bro. Four Past Midnight by Stephen King. It's mm -hmm. kind of sort of got a clock there. It's definitely got a clock. Yeah. There's a rip in the midnight. Yeah. Yeah. They were good books. I've had that since high school. It looks well loved. Mm hmm. How's it smell? Good. I like yes, smelling that's a like great smell. A, a you, good used book. Yeah. Really like that smell. Me too. Oh, look, the time machine. I don't think there's one on it. Mm, that's a cool cover, though. Yeah, it is a cool cover, actually. Walmart! Re that's not his sticker, even! What? Isn't that ridiculous? It Yo. says Walmart retail 98 cents. It's not a sticker. It's just That's on so there. annoying. Yeah. And I like that cover a lot. If I was too. Not for that. Right. I mean, I still do. It's really a good book, like too. I haven't read it, but... We should put find another sticker. Put it over it. <laughs> Number 13. Do you have a poetry book? Yes. For the sidewalk ends. Yeah. By Shel Sil Silverstein. Yeah. Read us a poem. Okay. Oh, I like that one. Read that one. Okay. My beard. My beard grows to my toes. I never wears no clothes. I wraps my hair around my bear and down the road I goes. Nice. Show the picture. <laughs> 
That was a cute one. Number 14. Do I have a book with an award stamp on it? Probably. That should have one. That was a great book. No. That's not exactly an award, although it would feel like it. Yeah. <laughs> Do some digging on this one. Not on that copy. <laughs> I saw this Walmart one. I was like, hey! The oh. <laughs> Walmart. Jessica, I don't know if you have one. I guess I don't read sophisticated enough books. But she won a Nobel Prize in literature. I feel like that should be a stamp for a real. We couldn't find one award stamp. She's still looking. I'm, I'm just amazed. <laughs> I'm shooketh. I think you have a lot of older copies. I, I do. think typically the newer copies have them. Yeah. After they've been recognized, you know. But you Recognized. Have like a, you have the OG. OG. Copies, yeah. Yeah. Number 15. Do I have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? Ooh, I like this one. Okay, so JP or... JS. JS. Johnny Sun. Yes. Which your... My maiden name. Maiden name. name. Start with an S. Yes, So, yes. JS. Good job. That was a cute book. That was a really cute book. Number 16. Do I have a book of short stories? Do you? Yeah. I actually don't think I have a book of short stories. You know, I don't think you do either. Um... I have like a bind up. You have like plays. Yeah. But that's different. I mean, it's fairy tales. Yeah. Does that count? Hans Christian Andersen fairy tales? Maybe? Yeah, maybe. Possibly. It's like a different category of short story, you think? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's, it's not what they're looking for. I mean, exactly. they are like. They are short. And they are. They're stories. They are stories. <laughs> Fairy tales mm. are stories. Yeah. So... That's as close what? as we can get. <laughs> Number 17. Do you have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages long? <sighs> this was so hard. It was really hard last time. At my house. Yeah. Alright. Let's do this. Bye. When you said let's, do you mean you want me to help you? Um, if you want to. Okay, I'll help you. Ooh, nope. Memoirs of a Geisha by something gold man. Arthur. Golden. Golden. Not gold man. No. And it is 503. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's including the acknowledgments. Yeah. So. Which I said counted. Yeah. The acknowledgment started at page 500. Yeah. <laughs> so if we don't count the acknowledgment acknowledgments, then yeah. we're like... One page short. Right. But it's part of the book. Yeah. And people need to read that. Yeah. Yeah. Number 18. Do you have a book that was turned into a movie? Yes. The Other Bowling Girl by Philippa Gregory. Uh -huh. uh, definitely a movie cover. Yeah. And now a major motion picture. It does say that. Look at it. I haven't read it. I haven't either. But I want to. I really like that green. I do too. It's it really reminds good. me of Evelyn Hugo. Oh, yes. Number 19. Do you have a graphic novel? Yes. Yeah. You've held up two of them. We're going to go with Sex Criminals. Awesome. Because, oh, Matt Fraction and Chip Zdarsky. Zdarsky. That's a good name. It was pretty good. Mm-hmm. When they have sex, they can stop time. Yeah. So. And they rob banks. Yeah. I, I would like to read the second one. Last one. Number 20. Do I have a book written by two or more authors? Harry Potter and the Cursed Child <laughs> by John Tiffany and Jack Thorne, a new play by Jack Thorne based on original news story by J.K. Rowling. Yeah. Uh, we're in it's the a camp. Play. Yeah, we're in the camp that we don't like it. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. No, we didn't like it. Yeah. I would go see it. I would see it. But I was mad about it. Yeah. I got a little sleepy through that one. I did too. I'm tired for some reason. Like I could nap. Yeah. I, th think, I think it's because we ate. I was going to say, usually I don't eat beforehand because yeah. we film so early. Right. But, um, Today we... I went and ate breakfast for my mama, which was really good. Yeah. And then my husband made me eggs and toast and bacon. Yeah, that was really nice. Yeah. Uh, you probably already know, but we did this at Christina's house. Did yeah. we say that in the beginning? So we'll link that video down uh, below. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. I like that video. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I like doing stuff like this, too. Me, it's too. It's fun to see. Yeah, I like playing games. and I do, too. We really like playing bookish games. Yeah. We haven't done that in a while. Yeah, it's been a bit. And we should do that again. Cool. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. When you play the game of tomes, you read or you die. Come be our friends. Social media links in the description below. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. Bye. So, uh, something like that. Yeah, well, that works. <laughs>